20th Century Fox was going to do it originally. And uh, one day I got a call from um, a 20th Century Fox person who asked if I could have a meeting with them. Um, and I said, sure. And I met him at Sardi's. And there were two guys from um, PR department. And they said, listen, we want to talk to you about the title. And I said, uh, what about it? They said, well, you know, Days of Wine and Rose is not really a movie title. And I said, uh, no? I said, no, it's not. Um, we, we have been discussing it a lot, and we don't think it's very exploitable. And uh, we had our, uh, our um, company on uh, Madison Avenue come up with some titles. I want you to look at some alternate titles, see what you think. And they had a sheet with about 30 titles. Uh, you know, it was really spectacular titles like Back from the Rim of Hell, you know, or, or Lost in the Depths of This. I mean, you know, the typical bad titles. And um, I said, you see, we, we think it should be something with a little more punch, a little more spice something that grabs the attention of a theater-going audience. And by now, you know, I'm reading this and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, God almighty, I mean, this is really ridiculous. So I said, um, look, I sort of expected this to happen. So I said, uh, <clears throat> I did have a title that uh, I was thinking about putting on it, but I, I thought maybe it was too rough and maybe uh, you know it might not maybe people wouldn't maybe people would be offended by it they said, that's what we like we like for people to be this is a story about alcoholism what is it <clears throat> and I said um, well I was thinking of calling it don't fuck around with booze And these two guys uh, sat there for a minute, and one of them said, uh, you sound kind of hostile. And I said, uh, oh, I certainly don't mean to. I mean, I'm trying to be helpful. And he said, well, what I'm, the message I'm getting from you is that you're not going to willingly change this title. I said, you got the message. That's it. So as soon as, well, everybody was very friendly after that. And as soon as we broke up, I went and I called Marty Manis. I told him about the meeting, and he said, those bastards, they didn't tell me they were going to call you. They didn't tell me anything about this. They're trying to get to me through you. And I said, well, Marty, uh, you, uh, you, I hope you're on my side. I said, what are you talking about? Of course I'm on your side. And he says, and Lemon was there with him, and he told Lemon what had happened. Lemon says, are they kidding? Those idiots? They're not going to change that title. It's a great title. I said, oh, thank God. Okay, fellas. Bye. <laughs>